What's up YouTube, Dan here, and welcome to another episode of my Schalke Krimo series. And here we are, finally in the January transfer window. Finally time to make some signings, guys. And in the last episode, I asked you what players I should sign. You guys left tons of comments. There could also be some players leaving the club this uh, transfer window as well, guys. Uh, you got to remember that we are now the best team, or at the moment, the best team in the league. Uh, so it's time to maybe swap some of the Deadwood players and get some big names into this team. And hopefully maybe in the summer transfer window, I'll go for like a world-class player. But let's try and spend my four million pounds or something. I'm going to have to sell a few players if I want to sign anyone because that is clearly not enough. Also guys, don't look like a ghost anymore. I finally got the lighting sorted out. So it's I don't look like, a, like so white anymore. But anyway, uh, let's get into the shortlist. I've actually added some more players. Uh, so we're going to start off here with the first centre-back. So you guys have been leaving suggestions about what centre-backs I should be going for. I've seen Fabian Scher pop up a lot, obviously. you got, uh, I think, Hummels as well, which is a bit surprising. Uh, but this guy is called Daniela Regani, I do believe. Uh, 21 years old, worth £7 million as well. And this guy, apparently on SoFIFA.com, is one of the best centre-backs up and coming. Because in the time we'll be doing the series, he won't be a first-team player. Uh, but I can at least help... Uh, hopefully getting to near full potential, hopefully around 80 rated. Uh, it does actually start off about 70, which is pretty good. Uh, but this guy looks a star for the future. So uh, next we've got Christoph Kramer, who's actually moved to Seville. I still want this guy. He's my the player one in this team. He's realistic. He's German. Uh, I could see him in a Schalke shirt as well next to Wanyama or Berteng. But this is obviously the fourth transfer window. I've tried to go for Kramer, I do believe. So the first summer, last uh, transfer window in January... The summer just gone, and now this transfer window as well. I don't. I just need this guy on my team. Uh, but now it's on a bit different. We've got Xabi Alonso. Uh, so I'm going to look at this guy, and right now he's one of my favourite players. Uh, just how good he's been doing at Bayern Munich as well. He's 34 years old. He's worth 2.5 million. I just seem to be a no-brainer because I need that kind of player that will ping balls around the pitch. Find far, find find uh, far fin, find far fan, and find Drax on those two uh, wings as well. He's got obviously fantastic passing stats. This guy uh, could be the real deal, and obviously he's a Bayern Munich, probably not getting much starting time. Uh, obviously in this is Karimo. They're probably using Thiago or Schweinsteiger. Uh, obviously players like that. Uh, but I'd love to take this guy off them. He's obviously quite cheap as well, and he's a bit different as well. Some like just some fun to use Chabi Alonso. Because uh, when I saw him, I thought, oh, I could use him. He'll be fantastic uh, for this team. So now uh, we've got Musa Zizoko, the guy, the thing I love about this guy, he can play centre mid, CDM, centre attack and mid, right mid, he can even play probably centre forward as well, he has got fantastic physical stats, fantastic mental stats as well, and even better technical stats, so this guy uh, can play every position, he's got uh, 26 years old, 77 rated, which is not too good, uh, but I could probably get him for probably about under 10 million. So we got likes of Shakiri, got Fergie Lee, I do believe as well. Uh, I think this guy's a bit too expensive, and Shakiri, I don't know if they'll want to sell him. Uh, also in this game, the thing is like a god, so they never sell him. And for some reason, they use him over Iron Robin, which I don't understand. Uh, but now to Thiago, like Kramer, I have always been interested in this guy. Uh, he's worth 10 million, but let's try and make an offer for him. Uh, he's like a younger version of Chabi Alonso, a player I can develop uh, to get to about 85 rated, hopefully. Uh, but let's go select player. Let's have a look at some of my players. Uh, maybe it's the time to sell Berteng. He's 28 years old, 82 rated as well. Is it time for the new generation of midfielders? Maybe it's the right time. Uh, leave a comment down below because this transfer window will be split up into two parts. Uh, so leave comments down below. But uh, Wanyama's got bad form. may has got bad form as well. Wanyama, I don't, I, I'm not sure about him at the moment, guys. So maybe Wanyama as a player might sell. Uh, using him for the last year, still hasn't grown a single uh, rating, which I don't believe. Uh, but also got Farfan, who's 31 years old now. Probably the best time to sell him as well. Uh, but I do know he's become a Schalke uh, fan's favourite and that kind of thing. So maybe uh, this transfer winner might sell Farfan. Uh, but as I said before, it's all down to you guys in the comment section down below. So. Uh, is there any other players who can sell? Maybe Lialic, maybe? Uh, Nistata, I don't know who should, who should I go for. Uh, is anyone else worth anything? Let's go Herger. 
uh, plus 4 million. Let's just see if they want uh, to go for that because I tried this last summer transfer window. They said no. Let's try again. Hopefully, we get the right answer. Kovacic is also a player I want to go for because not only has he got decent tackling stats, he's also got some decent uh, physical stats as well and obviously one of the best young players on career mode as well so uh, similar to this we've got Streetman guys I spent so long looking through comments uh, looking at Schalke rumours as well uh, also thinking about what would go into my team and I thought this guy would be great because he's got good aggression he's got good inception as well which is exactly what I need next to Wanyama uh, it could be Berten could be Mayer even like that uh, he's cheap he's got probably not small weight he's probably got small wage as well is what I'm trying to say uh, what is he on so he's on 70,000 a week that's not too bad uh, the thing is, I probably have to pay over 15 million. I simply don't have 15 million to spend on streamers. So there we go. So back to Chabi Alonso, guys. And I really want this guy. We're going to go for it. Uh, the thing is, I could approach the sign on contract expiry. But by the time, I pretty, I think he would have retired by then, which is something I don't want. So let's go and approach FC Bayern to buy. Who could I possibly uh, sell to get him into this team? So I'm going to go for Goretzka. I don't think I regret that either because when's the last time he played for this team? He hasn't played like all season. Uh, so let's submit the offer and Goretzka might be going but Chabi Alonso, that beard, those passing stats, you can't say no to that. Uh, we're going to end off here with an offer for Suzoko. I just want this guy at the team so let's go and offer maybe Berteng. Is it the time that Berteng left? I've said that already in today's episode but maybe Alcazar, maybe, yeah let's go Lialic, let's try Lialic there. Uh, so about the same age as well, about the same value, so yeah, let's try it, let's submit the offer and hopefully they accept it. So guys, international management offer for Mexico. So last episode I asked you, should I take the Portugal offer? You guys kind of said yes, some of you guys have wait for Germany. So for now I'm going to just hold off with the international management. And obviously I want to win this league, I don't care too much about international this stage. Obviously the World Cup is a few years away as well. Uh, so let's reject this offer, we'll reject the Wales offer. But that Portugal offer, it does look good, guys. Uh, so maybe I'll do a straw poll, so I'll leave one down in the description. So here we go, the first game of 2016. The question is, can we keep our unbeaten run going? Uh, we have now got a tough test against Stuttgart. Um, expecting a big game from this, hopefully a lot of goals as well. You can see there, we are still unbeaten. We've actually drawn nearly... Uh, we've, we've drawn nearly as many as we've won, to be honest. But still, we are top of the league table with 42 points so far. Uh, so let's get into this. Oh, what a ball. It's Mayer. Oh, it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Uh, but that's an early chance there. He's offside. Uh, that's what I love about Mayer. He gets forward, which is exactly uh, what I need. Benteke away. He finds Schurler on the left-hand side. Keep going. Cut inside. Pass Rudiger. It's Schurler. Good save from the goalkeeper. Keep going, Farfan. Ball in. Oh, gets that Benteke. I don't know why it's selected Schurler last minute, but that was unlucky. It could start as well from Schurler. Oh, God. Into the box now. Gets that Schurler. There we go. He can attack. He can score goals. And he can defend as well. Go a little leash Farfan on this right hand side. Oh, that's a good tackle. No. Farfan is injured. What's going on here? Oh, my God. Please don't be a long injury. Um, why at this time of the season, it's exactly when we got all the big games coming up. We've got Bayer Leverkusen, Farfan, our highest rate player, has got injured now. So I'm going to try Matip as a CDM. Let's just try out. He's got good interceptions as well. Uh, hopefully it'll work out. Maybe Alcazar will come on later on. Uh, for now, that is a team. And let's get into the second half. Go on, Matip. Keep going, though. Get into the box. Find May in the box. Go on. Win the header. Okay, it's out to Berteng. Let's go for the volley, but that is the story of the game so far because that was shocking. I don't know why I went for that, but I'm liking Matip as a CDM at the moment. It's actually really working. So there we go, guys. That was so frustrating. Uh, we've managed to get a draw from that. They just went defensive for the last half an hour, which is bullshit. Uh, but that's an absolute disaster. We draw the game, uh, but let's go back into the transfer window. So a transfer for now for Christian Benteke, 12.5 uh, million pounds. So let's, uh, I don't know if I want to sell him. So let's just try something out of the ordinary. Let's go 32.5 million. Uh, if they said that that is good money for a player, they've done all right so far. Uh, but look, come on, please. Oh, for God's sake, I've done well so far. And they just said no. They haven't even given me like two, three million. They just said straight up, no, you're not getting any money. Uh, so Thiago also said, we've all had a look at that before. Uh, but for Xabi Alonso, I really do want this guy in the team. Uh, so let's take out Goretzka. Let's just try 4 million uh, because that'll be basically all my money though. It's so tough, I've got no money. 
and I can't afford his wages either. This is so annoying. I'm going to have to sell some players. I'm just going to have to sell. This is a big one, guys. So leave a comment down below in the, in the, in the comments box. What do you think about this offer, guys? Uh, because I'll be happy to sell him for this much. It's up to you guys. Uh, I've already just signed him, but he hasn't really done too good so far. And there's a lot better players I could buy as well. So let's just uh, steal the offer for now with that. Uh, we've also got two more offers. First of all, for Draxler. Uh, so as Morales leaving, that's not good. But let's try, because they're Barcelona, uh, let's try 31 million. Please accept that. Uh, so there we go. And finally, for Draxler again, they, they want. I'll go again for 30 million. It's Chelsea, and they must have money to uh, go. Uh, obviously, they're going to have a lot of money, so hopefully they accept it. So there we go. And finally, Suzoko, the contract has been accepted. And finally, for Musa Suzoko, uh, the transfer offer has been accepted. So let's go 70,000 a week, three years. Uh, crucial first team player. Let's submit the offer and hopefully they accept it. Right, so contract offer accepted for Musa Suzoko. I'm going to go ahead and accept it because I love this guy at the team. Suzoko, welcome to Schalke. Lielic has now gone to Newcastle. He never really made it the team, but we have now got Musa Suzoko. And he could probably get to 80 rated as well, which is not too bad. Uh, he's so quick as well. Got good stamina, good strength. This is a perfect player for this team. So how OP is that? Is this team going to be now? Suzoko, Benteke. I uh, just can't wait to uh, partner them up to, uh, together in this team. But guys... So that's actually going to be the end of today's episode, guys. Next episode, we have Bayer Leverkusen. A huge game. A must-win game as well if we want to keep the pressure on Bayern Munich, guys. Uh, but thanks for watching today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment down below with what you think of today's episode. Uh, and to go and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and that kind of thing. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next episode.